Hello. My name is Dan Wolf with XLR Man Cables. Our website is xlrmancables.com and our email address is xlrmancables at gmail.com. Our telephone number is area code 407 312 7547. We own the patent for what you're going to see in this video. We're looking to license these ideas. Our patent is called Dual Channel XLR Cable Converter, and anyone interested, would they please contact us at xlrmancables at gmail.com. Okay, here we are back with the roll that's on our website, xlrmancables.com. And um, I put it in this roll. This is just a regular roll from, um, uh, that you put tools in. I needed a way that you could put it in a case. You know, you could roll all the cables up. You could put them in a case uh, that had hard stuff in it, and it wouldn't get damaged in any way. So that's when I came up with this idea. This can be expounded on and modified and improved on and everything else, but it'll give you an idea of what I kind of had in mind. These are the cables that are on the website. And, um, well, we'll just start over here on this end. I hope this is bright enough for you to see everything. The first cable I have is uh, an F connector. Uh, it is used for RF, usually carrying channel 3 or 4 or any other channels you want to carry if you have cable or whatever. But anyway, this can be carried through the, this would only carry one signal through the cable, but nevertheless it still utilizes your mic cables to send a signal through. So that's an F, this happens to be a push-on type F connector, so that's why it may look a little different than what you're used to. Uh, the next cable is a tip ring sleeve cable, quarter inch. Um, we uh, use it, of course, to unbalance the line. In other words, we send ground through the, the, the back of it. We'll send the right channel through the ring and the left channel through the tip. And uh, we do that so that we can maintain continuity all throughout the system, this cabling system. You can have two of these. You can have it mixed from this to this. I'll, I'll show you that later. But uh, anyway, that's the idea, uh, is TRS uh, for left and right channel with a, with a uh, ground. Anyway, here are the, here's the cable that's actually pictured, or cable like this, it's pictured. And uh, this is uh, right channel, red is always right. Left channel can be, eh, it, whenever the cable comes through, it could be any color, but we're going to maintain red as being right all the time, and the other, uh, the other color maybe yellow, white, whatever we happen to lay our hands on at the time or whatever we can order at the time where they're being made. But anyway, that's that. And here is S. Uh, S means separate video, uh, which means they send a, a chroma and a luminance signal down the same line. So there's no audio with it. You'd have to run a set of these. You'd have to run two cables, one with the video in it, one with the audio in it. If, uh, if you wanted to use this for audio and video, which is what we're doing right now, you're listening to a cable. It, the, the, all the video and audio are coming through a cable that looks just like this. Uh, S video does not have audio on it, so we'd send two signals, uh, chroma and luminance, on those two, um, on those cables. Uh, this is an eighth inch male and female. Um, again, we're maintaining the ground the right channel on the ring and the left channel on the tip and uh, we are we go from a, a male to a female to extend the length of your earphones. Um, BNC is next, I guess I should have moved this other cable up here, BNC to BNC, pretty well self-explanatory, that's, that, that's what that does. Um, telephone, telephone if you happen to need it, um, I just kind of threw that in. Uh, you, we haven't experimented. We don't have two lines here, so I haven't experimented with running two lines on it. You may be able to do that. Um, on this, this is an eighth inch to eighth inch. Um, again, this would just, you, you know, like you'd plug it into an eighth inch someplace and you'd go out 50 feet or 20 feet or whatever you wanted to, plug the other end in and plug it into another piece of equipment. So this is meant to go from equipment to equipment 
whereas this one would be more uh, equipment to uh, earphone. Um, and, um, you know, I'll be back and, ex and put some of these cables together for you so you can take a look at them, but that's the introduction, so I'll be right back. Okay, as I explained before, this is our most popular and our most um, versatile set. You can look in any magazine or Radio Shack catalog or anybody, uh, HOSA, uh, Cables to Go, whatever have you, you'll find all kind of adapters for this. And I covered that in another video here on YouTube. Um, I believe it was how to send two unbalanced signals through a mic cable or something like that. I forget what I did title it. But anyway, this is the cable. And I'm going to just give you some ideas, okay? Here is a set of RCAs here. And of course, there'd be a mic cable between these. You understand that, that a mic cable would go between these two connections. But here is a um, um, quarter inch on this end, quarter inch, to two RCAs, if that's what you want, through a mic cable. Okay, here is quarter inch to, uh, where is it at, uh, to eighth inch, um, over here. You can take uh, an eighth inch, like this. You can make it an eighth inch to quarter inch, uh, again, a cable in between, but you can have a quarter inch uh, stereo left and right to eighth inch stereo through the cable with a, a mic cable in between. Uh, you can take uh, uh, a quarter inch to, um, hmm, well, what else could you do it? And anyway, that's, that's basically quarter inch. You can take um, uh, RF to RF usually, or you can take RF to BNC if you care to do that. You can do that. Um, those would be the most common connections. Um, S-Video. S-Video can, um, um, you can take S-Video here and uh, bring it out if you want to on two RCAs. One would be chroma, the other would be luminance. You can bring it out just like that with a, again, picture a mic cable between these two connections. And that's what you'd be doing. Uh, you may want to, uh, uh, for some reason or another, you may, I don't know what mix you'd have, but you may want to run S-Video to 8th inch. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but you could do it. Uh, you can run uh, S-Video to quarter inch. Again, I don't know why you'd ever do that, but it can be done. And you can just imagine with these ends what you could end up with. You know, here's your, here's your eighth inch plug. You take an eighth inch and you can run an eighth inch to um, RCA. Give yourself left and right RCA with a cable in between. So you'd have this plugged in and this would come out to the equipment. Uh, of course, you can go uh, eighth inch and quarter inch. We've already explained that one. But uh, you could go eighth inch uh, male to uh, an eighth inch uh, female, and uh, you would get a, a an earphone extension, eighth inch female, from the uh, eighth inch male, and you'd get, um, you know, an extension for a, an earphone. Um, the the possibilities are crazy sometimes and virtually limitless. Uh, you can do all kind of crazy things. Um, I have a cable made up that I use that I start out with my S connection here. And I bring this S connection off of a camera. I bring it through a cable. And on the other end, I take another S connection, okay? But I strip off in the connector here, I strip off the luminance and run it through a black and white monitor. So on this end, this plugs into the mixer, into the, uh, the switcher, and this cable has an additional cable coming out that runs to a black and white TV, and I monitor it on a black and white TV. And it works very well. It works very well. Again, that's a custom-made cable, but with this, you know, you can run S to other sections. 
uh, you know, from one location to another through a, a mic cable. That'll give you some ideas. I have more ideas in mind. I'm working right now on 1394 Firewire. Uh, USB, I'm not too sure whether that has any practicality, but I'm looking at it. But we're looking at a lot of different things, and of course we're, these cables will handle digital signals as well as analog. And um, uh, that's uh, basically what we have right now. It looks like kind of a mess here, but uh, uh, you know, junk drawers and things like that do look like this before they put them together and make music and sound come through it from one end to the other. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back on uh, future things. Just keep an eye out for anything with XLR man cables uh, in the title. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.